As English cricket investigates a second case of offensive social media posts, Prime Minister Bob... Ollie Robinson, England yeah. cricketer, and some of the tweets he sent when he was a, a, a younger man. And it really has... It's one of those debates which has sparked all sorts of opinions from all sorts of places. And it's splitting people and mm. all sorts of people are now getting involved. The story rumbles on today, though, because now the England and Wales Cricket Board is investigating reports that a second player has posted offensive material in the past. Well, the news comes as Ollie Robinson starts his ban for those racist and sexist tweets made eight or nine years ago. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he agrees with the Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden that the ECB went over the top in dropping Robinson from the England side. Dowden said, well, the former England batsman, Michael Carberry, takes the opposite view. He says cricket must weed out people like Robinson. Much more on that story throughout the morning. But we do have some British success to report from the French Open. Alfie Hewitt has retained his title. He's won a... Well, number one, Novak Djokovic have had a really big scare to reach the quarterfinals at Roland Garros. The attack... In the women's draw, 17-year-old Coco Goff has made it through to the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam for the first time. Now, gymnast Becky Downey says she doesn't have the words to describe how she feels after being overlooked for selection for the Tokyo Olympics. She had been given extra time to qualify after she missed last month's finals following the sudden death of her brother. It's difficult, isn't it? You can hear someone talking about why they make a certain decision, but when you read Becky Downey's mm. hugely emotional post about the work that she has been putting in and the point that she'd got to, it's uh, yeah, you can see why she's so upset. Sally, thank you very much. We'll see you later. Thank you. The row over offensive tweets in cricket takes another turn. For quite a bit now, hasn't it? Yeah, and it's taken yet another turn. We're talking about the England bowler, Ollie Robinson. Now, the England and Wales Cricket Board is now investigating reports that a second England player has posted offensive material in the past. Wisden said it had uncovered a tweet containing a racist term by an unnamed player when they were 16. Well, it is, of course... About this now, a little more with the former England batsman, Mark Ramprakash. Morning to you, Mark. Lovely to see you. Very good morning. Um, first of all, let's talk about what the ECB have done. Let's talk about the suspension. Do you think that was the right thing to do? Think now about what's your reaction to the statement that we've had from um, Oliver Dowden and being backed up then by the Prime Minister saying that the ECB have overreacted. How does that make you feel? But shall we, about, you mentioned, didn't you, the, the schemes within the game, what the ECB have been trying to do to make cricket appear to be a cricket club, I've told BBC Sport, which is that racism has no place in our society or in cricket. We are hopeful that the outcome of this investigation and recommendations of the panel will, will drive positive progress and can be shared by all. Their investigation into that case is ongoing. Let's move on to the French Open tennis now. We have British success to report this morning. Alfie Hewitt retaining his title. Game World number one, Novak Djokovic, survived a, a really big scare to reach the quarterfinals. The Italian teenager in the women's draw, 17-year-old Coco Goff, is one of three players through to the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam for the first time. Gymnast Becky Downey said the last month has been unimaginable after she was overlooked for selection for the Tokyo Olympics. Following really uh, desperately uh, sad news for her, bad yeah. news for her. Very emotional reaction from yeah. her yesterday. Gosh, there's so much going on um, in the world of sport, isn't Busy. there? Thank you. Yeah, really interested to hear with Mark. The row over offensive tweets in cricket takes another turn. Good morning, Sal. It's, <laughs> it's, been, it's been very hard for everyone at breakfast today, isn't it, Sal? Yeah, it's been, um, it's been really, really... OK, don't like change. <laughs> um, but what I want to say is, uh, particularly over the last year, Everybody at home I know knows you reading the news and bringing the news to, to them every morning. But you have looked after us all and me a lot, particularly in really tricky times. So thank you. Oh, Sally, you know, there's a Brownlee brother missing from the Olympics. <laughs> Is there something you're not saying? <laughs> to be reporting no. on you in the spot. Oh, are you sure? Not in the Olympics, no. <laughs> oh, Sal. not a never. I'm sure there'll be a race somewhere, Sal, won't there? <laughs> there will. Thanks, Sal. Um, I'm going to do, let you have a moment, gather, and I, um, I'll update everybody on this morning's sports news. Uh, we start with this story that the England and Wales Cricket Board is investigating reports that a second England player had posted offensive material on social media in the past. 
Wisden said it has uncovered a tweet containing a racist term by the unnamed player when they were under 16. It comes just days. We have British success to report from the French Open. Alfie Hewitt has retained his title. Gymnast Becky Downey has said the last month has been unimaginable after she was overlooked for selection for the Tokyo Olympics. OK, ready for me to hand back? Yeah, yeah ready. Good. You gathered? <laughs> yeah, Do thank you. Do you want to bring you. Carol in? Uh, Carol. <laughs> yeah. Carol um, morning, Carol.